guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is the first time you are seeing me hi my name is Anele thank you so much for being here I really hope that you will subscribe like this video and stick around because um, I will be releasing more content <laughs> okay so i'm not sure what i'm gonna call this i don't know like this is gonna be a detangle with me talk crap with me uh i don't know <laughs> basically what i'm doing today is i'm gonna detangle my hair and talk about stuff that you guys asked me to talk about on twitter and instagram i got a few topics i think i'm going to split them into two because i will be doing more of these videos so at least i'm gonna have to like constantly ask you guys for topics i will just kind of draw it out into other videos so that's the plan i want to do this because number one it would be I think a little more entertaining to have something to do while I'm detangling my hair because it minimum takes an hour to do this um, and then the other part of it is I really want to show people that you know my hair looks different at different times when it's wet when it's dry when it's stretched out when it's totally shrinked up I think a lot of times as black women we see a certain hair type on the internet on instagram and we think that if our hair does not look like that then the, like our hair is not healthy or um we're doing something wrong but i don't like don't be fooled guys don't be fooled by people on instagram yes some people have you know an afro that's beautiful i know that you know if you look on my instagram also um, I have an afro too, it's not big, it's nothing to really brag about, but I have an afro too and sometimes friends specifically um, say stuff like, oh my gosh, I love your hair, I wish I had hair like yours, um, but the reality is that hair comes specifically for black women in different shapes, different lengths, sizes, and there's no right length, right size, right volume. There's none of that. My hair does not always look the way it looks on Instagram. And that's why I want to show you guys what it looks like when it's wet, when it's not, you know, perfect and, you know, perfect angles and um, lighting. So, enough rambling, enough this and that. Let's get into the video. First of all, uh, people ask me to show the products that I use. I wanna make this clear, this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I, the way I do my hair is really not, <laughs> um, it's more of a, I just want this to be over with. So if you guys really wanna know how to detangle your hair, you know, for hair growth and so on and so forth, this is not the channel. This is not a natural hair channel. This is, it's just not that okay <laughs> so if you came here for tutorial you came to the wrong place um products the products that i use is so i just started using this this is the as i am um curl clarity shampoo i like it's still full um i just started using this i use this as a conditioner i don't know i don't know how i feel about this conditioner but I don't know if it's natural hair friendly. I just bought it because, I don't know, okay? <laughs> Once again, I'm not a natural hair guru. Um, and then I used this detangler. I, I used this last night. So, to like detangle my hair the day before. And then right now, I'm going to use this leave-in conditioner uh, from Aunt Jackie. Anywho, enough babbling. I also got this um, from Mr. Price. I don't know, you know, it's not 100% cotton, so I don't know if it's natural hair friendly. I would, if Mr. Price could make a 100% cotton one, that would be amazing. Anywho though, this is my hair, all shrunk up, all wet. I know that you're supposed to detangle your hair when it's sopping wet, but I just, I really can't, oh my gosh, like, 
gonna have my hair like dripping down my face. I just can't do it. So my hair, I don't know. So it's definitely four C type. Um, what I like to do first is kind of section off. So that's what we're gonna do first. toxicity in your life and I feel like this ties in with the topic of Will and Jada Smith girl the internet is a funny place like the memes <laughs> I feel like it's a thing of like you are what you eat I feel like it's the same thing so if you're the type of person who like talks bad about people you're really mean to people you know you treat people badly then that's who you're gonna attract i mean people who are kind people who are kind and love other people and are nice to other people are not exactly gonna hang out with people who are mean and rude and just have a bad vibe because they have nothing in common so you are what you eat you are what you attract you know birds of a feather flock together girl <laughs> <laughs> but anywho <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying also when i'm doing this it might seem it it you know what it seems like I'm being rough with my hair. I am. I am. And the reason why I'm being rough is because I just don't have the strength to be slow and gentle. That just takes too much time. And I just want my hair to be done. Firstly, okay, Jada. Let's start with Jada. Because she was the one who was being brought to the table. This was just kind of weird how they were kind of downplaying it. You know, Jada, like they were trying to make it seem like August was acting crazy. And it was like, we knew like that you dated him. It was pretty obvious. The pictures that they've been taking together, you know, how they hang out. It's been pretty obvious that they were dating. It, it, it wasn't a secret. So the whole like, Ducking and diving, it's just weird. There, this like you dated somebody else, as Jada explains, they were kind of in a state of you know what, this marriage is over. So, I don't think she did anything wrong. What is funny though is the word entanglement. I know people are like, girl, like. You're trying to use big words, but actually when you look at the definition of entanglement, <laughs> she wasn't using the wrong word. She was using the correct word to describe what she had with um, August. Like this was such a simple scenario. Yes, I was with August. And what? Now the second thing that bothers me about this situation is how people are kind of portraying Will. I don't believe for one second that he wasn't cheating either. And that's also kind of weird, like I don't know, it was what was going on cheating? What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section, do you guys think that it was cheating? Because they very much expressed that it, it wasn't it wasn't just like a break. They were on the like on the tip of like this is a like we can't do this anymore. I don't believe that he was sitting at home, you know, crying. 
crying, you know, trying to, you know, wondering where she is, you know, listening for her footsteps to hear whether she's cheating on him, crying at night. I don't believe that. <laughs> if you believe that, girl. <laughs> girl. Uh-uh. Guys, I think, you know, the lesson you need to learn here is don't, don't torture yourselves. Like, don't torture yourselves. It's not cute. It's not necessary. Um, or for Avantabazotini. Like, at the end of the day, this is something that you're going to be going through all by yourself. And another thing is that, you know... <laughs> Getting married is not a joke, guys. Oh my gosh. I think that's really one of my biggest fears. Marrying the wrong person. Like, damn, that's one of my biggest fears. My parents are divorced. Um, they married quite young. And it was not a cute divorce, you know? They're, they still can barely be cordial. <laughs> Like, baby. So, damn, like, marriage is just sounding really miserable and bleak. Black women, we need to quit, guys, with the Megazela mentality. We really need to quit with it. As black women, especially in South Africa, with the insane amounts of gender-based violence that goes on in our country it's not with us we need to start creating a narrative that a black woman can be healthy <laughs> we need to start creating the narrative that a black woman can be happy by themselves if you're me single no kids um, maybe as a single mom, so I'm single with kids. We need to start creating a narrative where that is just as amazing and praised as being the woman who has children, married, you know, all of that. I saw a picture of Olga Salsina in Andoya. Girl. <laughs> I believe there was even a story that he apparently like ruptured a girl's cervix. I want to see more black happiness, black women being happy, being confident and proud to be black, being a woman. that you guys enjoyed it you know um i want y'all out there black woman you know you're beautiful your hair is beautiful you need to just rock what you have you're doing amazing and don't let the world society magazines and instagram tell you otherwise thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i will see you guys in the next one bye